What's up, everybody? Master King Chef J right here, and I appreciate you guys watching. Of course, I want to say Happy New Year to everyone. And today, we're going to be making one of my favorite foods, which is a lot of different foods, but we're going to be doing seafood. I'm going to be doing an ultimate seafood fried platter. So don't go anywhere, guys. Stick around. Now, like I told you before, we're going to be frying some seafood. And remember, we're always building flavor. So the first thing I'm going to do is season my oil. In my hand, I have garlic cloves and habanero peppers. I'm going to drop these in the fryer and that season my oil. It gives the oil a really good flavor. We're going to let that go a little bit. And then we're going to come right over here. Now. Here's what we got. I got some catfish, some tilapia, some lobster claws, some lobster tails, some snow crab legs. I have some shrimp, calamari. I have oysters. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna marinate my shrimp. This is buttermilk and this is hot sauce. I'm gonna marinate my shrimp in buttermilk and hot sauce because I'm gonna cook my shrimp last. All right, I'm gonna put this in the, I'm gonna put, cover this up with some plastic wrap, put it in the refrigerator, and I'll get back to that. Now, let's go over here, okay? Right here, I have my snow crab legs. I'm gonna put them inside, right? I got a beer right here, whatever beer you like. I'm gonna pour the beer over the crab leg, just to give it some flavor, and I'm gonna let that soak. Let that soak, okay? We got that done out of the way. Let's come over here. Now, real quick, I'm gonna make a hush puppy. Cause you can't have you can't have a fried seafood platter without hush puppy. But I'm gonna put my spin on it, of course. I'm gonna make a seafood hush puppy. Alright, so right here I have egg, right? I'm gonna add a little bit of buttermilk. I'm gonna add a little bit of hot sauce. Okay. Now, here's the trick, right? I got some old Jiffy cornbread mix, right? I'm gonna add this. This is gonna be the base of my hush puppy. I'm gonna take this out. And stir it up real good. That's about a quarter cup. Then I'm gonna add quarter cup of flour. Okay. Stir this up real good. Getting thick just like I want it. Now, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna add some lobster meat. This is a seafood hush puppy. We're gonna add some tilapia. This is a seafood hush puppy. You're also going to add some corn. You're going to add a little bit of garlic. Fresh garlic, that is. Just a little bit. Okay? Just a little bit of garlic. We're going to add a little bit of granulated onion and granulated garlic. That's the onion. And this is the granulated garlic. Okay, I'm gonna stir this up really good. Then add a little bit more of our Jiffy cornbread mix because it's not the consistency we want. And that's what cooking is all about. You can always add a little bit of a time, but if you add too much, you can't take away. And I add a little bit more of that. This is gonna be some good hush puppy. We're gonna add a little bit more flour. I'm gonna stir this up. I'm gonna pull the garlic out and the peppers out of my oil, and I'll be right back.
All right, guys, welcome back. So if you come over here and look, I added a little bit of Old Bay seasoning, and then I'm gonna add a little bit of fresh parsley to this. I'm gonna stir it up, and that's the consistency we want because they're gonna be seafood hush puppies. We're gonna sit this off to the side, let it firm up a little bit, and we're gonna go right into frying our fish. Now, if you look right here, I have tilapia and I have catfish. I'm gonna put this dredge dish in the flour, put this in my garlic habanero infused oil that we made earlier. I removed the garlic and the peppers, put it off to the side. This the fryer is 350 degrees. Now I'm gonna take my tilapia, dredge it in real good. Make sure everything's fully coated. Oh, it's looking real good. We having the seafood feast here, ladies and gentlemen. Take my tilapia and in the fryer it goes. Take my catfish. Same thing, make sure everything's fully covered. Make sure that cornmeal, and by the way, this is cornmeal and flour 50-50. I seasoned it with one of my favorite seasonings. If you look right here, I have this Greek, all-purpose Greek seasoning. That's what I have that in. And I'm gonna drop this in the fryer. In it goes. We're gonna let that go. Move it from the fire, let it sit. Hey man, we're really cooking over here. Looking good, smelling good. Seafood feast. Do not go anywhere, guys. Now remember, as soon as you take something out of the fryer, that's when you want to season it. Right now, it's all happy and sizzling. Right now, is when you want to hit it with a little bit of whatever seasoning you want, and it absorbs all of that, okay? That was some lemon pepper seasoning. Now, guys, I'm gonna go right ahead and start my seafood hush puppies. Got them right here, and I'm just gonna drop it in the fryer. And if you're gonna see, I'm gonna go back to the flour so it doesn't stick. And then I go back to my hush puppy mix. And it goes right into the flour. Now I'm not trying to get a perfect circle. I just want a nice flavor for hush puppy. I don't care what the shape is like. I scoop it right into the flour. Boom. Go back to here so it doesn't stick. Right to the flour. We're gonna do this until we got enough hush puppies for everybody to eat because we're having the seafood feast and you can't have them without hush puppies but of course y'all already know I kick it up a couple of notches put some tilapia in there put some corn in there put some lobster in there when we come back I'm gonna throw something else in that deep fry seafood baby Now I bet you ain't never had a hush puppy like that. You can add whatever seafood you want to it. You can add green onions to it, you can add red peppers to it. I just kind of kept it basic, but kicked up a little bit, right? I took the liberty of opening one up, and that's what we got. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and fry off. Oh uh, yes, baby. My crab legs and my lobster claws. Okay, you say fried crab legs? Most definitely fried crab legs. So I take the crab legs that's just been soaking in beer, right? And then I dredge it with the cornmeal and the flour. Make sure it's dredged really well because I want that nice coating on it. And then it goes in the fry. I do two claws at a time, all right? You don't want to overcrowd the fries. Okay. 
All right, so we've been cooking for about six minutes. I'm gonna take them out. And just like I told you guys earlier, especially with these, right? Give it a little extra kick. Hit it with some seasoning or some Cajun seasoning on both sides. Oh man, we're gonna set that over here like this. And we're gonna take the next one out. All right, we're gonna let it drain a little bit. Now this one right here, I'm gonna do it a little different. I'm gonna hit this one with lemon pepper. So I have a Cajun crab leg, and I have a lemon pepper fried crab leg. Talking about building flavors. Talking about, talking about knocking your suck off. Talking about a happy party in your mouth. It's right here, guys. I am not playing any game. Now we're gonna take our lobster claws. Dredge them up really well. Oh yeah. Really going down, man. Smelling so good right now. And we just want to get a nice little coat on here. And we're going to drop them in. So next, I'm going to fry our lobster tails. That's right. I'm going to fry the lobster tails. So right here, I have them soaking in some buttermilk and a little bit of hot sauce. Okay. I'm going to take the lobster tails. And if you see, I kept the tails on just for presentation. Keep the tails exposed a little bit. And then I'm going to dread them again in the same breading. Get them down a little bit. All around. And I'm going to take this one here, do the same thing. Make sure I get some of that breading. Should be nice and full of flavor. Bread them all around. I'm trying to keep the tail exposed because it just looks good. And then, in the fryer goes. Now we're about to fry our shrimp. So what I did is when I cleaned the shrimp, I devanged the shrimp, I split them all the way through a little bit, right? Split them down the middle. And I come over here and I keep the tail exposed just for a little presentation. And then I flatten it out, make sure it's floured real good. And this is just nothing but some flour with a little bit of seasoning. Now I'm gonna take all my shrimp and fry my shrimp. Oh yeah, Cajun fried shrimp. How you like them apples? All right, so we got the shrimp going over here. I'm almost ready to plate. But last but not least, we got some oysters, right? I'm gonna take the oysters, drop them in the hot sauce, buttermilk. Use some big ones. In the fry they go. Oysters. All right, guys, so now we're taking our fries out of the fryer. And these are not going to be your average French fries, right? We're going to make a Cajun garlic fries, and I'm going to hit it with a little bit of Parmesan cheese, okay? So, as you can see, I took the fries out. And just like I told you before, Right when they're nice and bubbly, is when we want to season them, right? So I'm going to hit them with some Cajun seasoning because they are Cajun fries. Someone's going to eat these fries and they're going to say, what is that you put in those French fries? All right, so we're going to hit them with a little bit of Cajun seasoning. And we want to be liberal, okay? Which means, don't hold back. Then we're going to hit it with a little bit of garlic, right? And then we're going to drizzle a little bit of Parmesan, I mean a little bit of olive oil on here. Okay. Now, we're gonna hit it with a little bit of chopped parsley. And then last but not least, we're gonna hit a little bit with a Parmesan seasoning. Okay. Now we're gonna mix these up. Oh my God. That's fire right there. That is straight five. Now, we get ready to plate. But before I do that, I got one last garnish I wanna do. Banana peppers. They're sweet, they got a little bit of tang to them. They're good for frying. 
people are sleeping on these fried banana peppers, right? I'm gonna take some banana peppers and I'm just gonna dredge them a little bit with some flour, right? Just get them nice and coated. Kind of like an onion ring, right? Nice and coated. And then you just drop them in the deep fryer. Alright, so it's time to plate this dish. Fried seafood platter, baby. This is Master King Chef J Rod's ultimate seafood feast with Cajun fried Parmesan garlic french fries. Alright. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. How good does that look? Lobster, shrimp, crab, calamari, lobster tail, fried crab legs. Remember guys, always keep God first in your life and everything will fall into place. I thank you guys for watching. God bless.